Hello. 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 Hi, how are you doing? Fine. Okay, that's awesome. And the rest of you, how have you been doing? How was the weekend? Did you do anything interesting? A barbecue only in the, on Sunday. A with barbecue? The family. With family, awesome, fantastic. <laughs> That's the best lunch you may have. That was for yeah. lunch or for dinner? Uh, lunch. Oh, yeah, lunch is better because for dinner, I think it's too heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. And the rest of you? What did you do on your weekend? Did you share time with the family? Did something special? I'm sure. Hi. In that case, I'll be sure with my family. Oh, uh -huh. awesome. yeah. yeah, it's the best thing that you can do. Also, it's, uh, well, I think that nowadays it's preferable to have a delicious meal at home than, rather than going out. It's too dangerous, I think. Yeah. Because of the COVID situation, right? So, yeah. Okay, so I think that, sorry. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this 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 uh, the situation of the COVID nineteen and the team soccer was playing and this weekend and it was, it was very fun and very exciting that year. Uh, yes, there are people, there is people that get too excited about it and they uh, they can become dangerous as well. <laughs> yes, and the traffic also. So um, I sent the presentation for this week on Saturday. So in case you have a chance, you could have read it then. So I think that you have checked it already. So we're going to start with the first exercise there, which is the reading. 
to share my screen with you. Let's see. Let's celebrate. Aha. Uh -huh. That is the... <laughs> yes, that's the topic of the section number three. So um, we're going to be talking about customs and celebrations and things like that. So we're going to start sharing the reading. You have this reading exercise in the platform. It is the first part of the, of the section number three. Unique customs. Okay, so let us take a look at the photos. And uh, what do you think is happening in the first picture? What comes to your mind when you see the first picture? The priest to say hi to the other kids. Okay, a priest is um, saying hi to kids. Uh, yes. Uh, when I first saw that picture, I just focused on kids and I said, oh, children's day. <laughs> but I didn't pay attention to the priest, but, but yes. <laughs> Probably he's blessing the kids, I don't know. Okay, Maybe. good. <laughs> what about the second picture? What comes to your mind with the second picture? Uh-huh. Any volunteers? Maybe some ritual. I don't know the name exactly. Uh-huh. It looks like a kind of a ritual or something like that. Very good. And the last one. What do you think? When you Maybe think? it's a, a celebration for Chinese people. Mm-hmm. Probably it's a typical celebration from the, yes, Chinese people. Okay, good. Now, let's read a little bit about the unique customs around the world. Do we have a volunteer for reading the number one? Me? Okay, thank you. Okay. January uh, 17th. Uh, is San Anthony Day. In Me Mexico, it's a day when people ask for protection for their animals by bringing them to church. church. But before the animals go into the, into the church, the people usually dress them up in flower and ribbon? ribbons yes ribbon. okay, okay. <laughs> oh wow curious so what do you think i have a pet rabbit but i, I don't imagine the, <laughs> bringing my rabbit to the church <laughs> uh, maybe the part of dressing him with flowers and ribbons can be funny what about you? What do you think about that custom? Did you know about it? Mm, I haven't no. heard about that uh, custom or tradition from Mexico, but sounds funny and interesting. Okay, I have a volunteer yeah, for number different. two. William? Me, teacher. Yes, miss. Okay. Miss? You listen yes. to me. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. On August 15th of the lunar calendar, Koreans live Chusok, as known as, no, as Korean Thanksgiving. It's a day when people give thanks for the harvest. The Korean family. families honor their ancestors by going to their graves to take them rice and fruit. And clean the gravy, gravy seats. Grave site. Grave site. Uh huh. Okay, that's a very interesting. What do you think? Um, I I think is uh, Thanksgiving similar to United States. Then they different. 
Yes, it's kind of different because they visit uh, people that has passed away, right? Uh -huh. It's a strange yes. celebration because I think that is similar like uh, May 3 here, uh, the Christmas Day. Uh -huh. The is talking about the nature, the fruits, I think. Yes, I think that it, it's like a combination of that people's date and the cross date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it sounds like. But here, the, the, this, this, uh, all the one thing is important that is, uh, they thanks to, to her parents, I know. People give thanks for the harvest and sisters. Their ancestors. Uh -huh. It's yes. a prayer because here is in November too. Mm -hmm. But yes, they thanks for the harvest. Mm -hmm. It's it's very interesting, like a uh, uh, lot of celebrations together here. I think that is a mix of the, between the celebrate of the nature and the exorcist because they can talk with their ancestors. Uh huh. Yes, sounds interesting as well. Okay, uh, volunteer for reading the number three. Me. Okay, go ahead. Long ago in India, a princess who needed help sent her silk bracelet to um, an emperor. That is the the correct pronunciation. Emperor. emperor. Yeah, emperor. Emperor. Although he did not arrive in time to help her, he kept the bracelet as a sign of the bond between them. Between them. Today in India, during the festival of Raki, men promise to be loyal to their women. In exchange, the women give them a bracelet of silk, cotton, or gold thread. That's it? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm, no comments from my side. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think uh, that was in, in the past. <laughs> because mm. right, right in, in that times, I don't... I they don't, don't honor uh, that promise. Yes. In some cases, this is in a special case. Well, maybe they honor that promise, but most of the case, they don't. <laughs> okay, so let's move to the number four. Me, teacher. Me teacher. Okay. Oh, do I have a Stephanie and I saw Jesus, I think. So Stephanie, you can read the number four and Jesus. I think Jesus raised the hand. You can read the number okay. five. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of the biggest celebration in Argentina is New, New Year's Eve. On the evening of December 31, families get together and have a big meal. At midnight, fireworks explode everywhere and continue throughout the night. This is the day when friends and families meet for parties which last until the next morning. Okay, comments, what do you think? It's the similar for uh, own celebration. Yes, yeah, it's very similar to our celebration. I think it's the biggest celebration in El Salvador, right? And the New Year's Eve and December 31st, we get together yeah. with family. Yes, it's very similar to us. Thank you so much. Uh, Jesus, number five. Okay, miss. Um, on, the, on the evening of February uh, 3rd, uh, people in Japan celebrate the end of the winter and the beginning of the spring, of a spring. This is, this is known as Family members have died, beams around their homes, showing what look, look in, 
Your evil spirit out. After they throw the beans, they pick, pick them up and eat one bean for each year or they age. Okay, comments. What do you think? Um, I don't know. I I thought uh, it was like um end of the year, but I read I wrote this that um, it is uh, the the end of the the winter, but um. I think it's a, a way to celebrate to get a good look. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's um, dry beans and then they eat one, one bean for each year of their age. Can you imagine eating dry beans? No, 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 no. <laughs> we they may get not normal. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, kind of weird. Okay, so interesting. Um, did you get new vocabulary from um, here? New vocabulary, teacher. Excuse yeah. me, could you repeat again what is the correct pronunciation? Uh, let me see dónde estaba. Mm, emperador, teacher. Emperor. Emperor. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Any other question? What Hello, is three one? <laughs> And what number? Go ahead. Three Ribbons in the first one. Uh, the ribbons first uh, son, uh, ribbon listones. Okay, thank you. Enrique Byron. Uh, on the second part, Bro. at the end, where it said to take them rice and fruit and clean the gravy gravesite. Gravesite. Gravis. What is gravesite? Gravesite es el, uh, el, el, la tumba. Oh. Ajá, la tumba de donde yace una persona, donde está enterrado alguien, es el gravesite. Ajá. Y, y cementerio es, es como decir grave, la primera palabra acá, y yard, como de patio. Uh -huh. Graveyard, eso es el cementerio. Y a dónde está la persona, su, el familiar, es el gravesite. Mm -hmm. So they clean and bring food. Any other question? You can unmute to ask questions and then remember to mute yourself if there is background noise. But you can always participate and let us know your questions. No more questions? Okay, uh, let's see what you remember about this reading. I'm going to share my screen with you again. And we're going to go ahead here, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have some vocabulary here. Let us listen. Wait, what is this? Okay, I'm sharing sound. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary, cake, cards, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, parade, presents, roast turkey, wedding. Very good. Remember you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Flowers. 
Okay, do you have any questions about this vocabulary? No, Friday. No, teacher. Okay, let us pronunciation. Let's repeat. Anniversary. 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 Cake. 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 Cards. 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 Dancing. 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 Fireworks. Fireworks. Flowers. Flowers. Fruit punch. Fruit punch. Fruit punch. Parade. 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 Party. 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 Present. 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 Roast turkey. Present. Roast, Roast, Roast turkey. turkey. Wedding. 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 Okay, so parade es un desfile. Desfile. Uh, yes. Fireworks. Uh, uh, fireworks son los uh, juegos artificiales. Juegos artificiales. Uh -huh. oh, fireworks. Fireworks, new vocabulary, juegos artificiales, and parade, that is the, uh, un desfile. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Right. Yeah, you're safe. Okay. So let's continue then. Okay, I'm sharing again. Let's read a little bit more about holidays and festivals. Uh, we have first the Chinese New Year. Uh, would someone else like to participate? Alguien más que le gustaría participar leyéndonos about Chinese New Year? Me, teacher. Okay, Jenny, go ahead. Okay, Chinese New Year. January or February, Chinese people celebrate the Lunar New Year with the fireworks and lion lion dancing. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Now, Australia Day. Volunteer, Luis. Okay, teacher. Australia Day, January 26th. Australians put on patriotic shows to celebrate their national day. Excellent. Thank you so much. Then we have Children's Day volunteer, Steve. Thank you, teacher. Children's Day, May 5, Japanese families put up, up colored streamers shopping like fish in honor of their children. Okay, good. Now we have Maylin. Day of the day. day of the day of the November to Mexican May skeleton a sculpture and bake pan the muerto bread. Okay, thank you so much. Excellent questions. Did you get new vocabulary here? Bread of the day. This is strange. Um, bread of the dead. <laughs> yes, it's a strange when we translate it to English, <laughs> but it is like el pan del muerto, pan del muerto, no sé, algo así se llama. But, sí, it doesn't it. sound good. No, it doesn't sound good, and it doesn't, uh, if you see it, uh, well, <laughs> I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> okay, any other question? What is the meaning of... Uh, Streamer shaped. Oh. Uh, streamer shaped like fish son serpentinas a las cuales le han dado forma como de pescado. A eso se refiere esta oración. Streamer son serpentinas shaped viene de que le han dado forma, cortadas o formadas como pescado. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Any other question? Okay, let's continue practicing. Now, let us read about these special days. We're going to continue reading and learning new vocabulary. So, um, 
I'm going to read the event, date, and how people celebrate it. The first one is Martin Luther King's Junior Day. It is celebrated the third Monday in January. And this is the day uh, people honor the life and work of the civil rights leader, Martin Luther King Jr. Okay, President's Day volunteer. Me? Okay, thank you. Pres President's Day, first Monday in February. This day honored two great president of the United States, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. Very good, thank you so much. Stephanie. April Fool's Day, April 1. This is a day when people play threats on friends' websites, sometimes post funny stories or ad advertise. 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 Advertise face products. Okay, April 1st, and good job. Uh, Joanna. First day, April 22nd. This is a day when people think about protecting the earth. People give a speech about ways to help take care of the environment. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Maylin. Mother Days is a second Sunday in May. People honor their mother by giving cards and gifts and having a family gathering. Gathering. Okay, good. Ruben. Father's Day. You are mute. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Father's Day. Is in the second Sunday in June. People honor their fathers by giving them cards and presents. Thank you so much. Jesus? Independence Day, July 4th. Uh, Americans celebrate the country independence for Britain. Britain? Yes? Britain. Yes, Britain. 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 There are parties and fireworks. Okay, awesome. Labor Day. I have Stephanie. No sé si siempre. Sí, Stephanie. Yes. Okay, Stephanie. Labor Day. First. First Monday in September. People honor workers and celebrate the end of summer. Most people have the day off and they have barbecues with their friends and families. Okay, awesome. Very good. Um, vocabulary or pronunciation here. Which Teacher, work? gathering. Um, gather. Gather. Gathering. gathering is cuando se reúnen o se agrupan. Mm -hmm. A reunión familiar, eso es cuando ya se, se reúne la familia. Gather, es is to get together, viene de get together, de unirse. Get estar juntos, ajá. Estar juntos con la familia, porque ya meeting es ya a más para, como para formales, work, and that kind of vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Gathering. 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 Mm -hmm. Gathering. Gathering. Ajá, uh -huh. es como gather, como con de, gather, gathering, mm -hmm. gathering. Any other? Teacher, speeches, what is meaning? Ok, a speech es un discurso. Ahí está en plural, discursos, speeches. Mm -hmm. Ok, speeches. Any other new word? Environment. Environment es el medio ambiente. Environment. Thank you, teacher. You're more than welcome. Any other question?
No more questions? Okay, let's uh, try to complete this exercise in part B. You can do it in your notebook. Si no pudieron imprimir el material, pueden hacerlo en su um, cuaderno. Es uh, complete the chart, check the correct answer. Like, for example, the first one, it says Americans give each other gifts on and Americans don't give gifts on. And we have the first one, Martin Luther King's Junior Day. Is it, uh, will you check this, uh, the first one or the second option? The first one. The second, the second one. option. For me, the second. The second option. So you say Americans don't give don't gifts give. on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh -huh. So la oración nos quedaría así. Americans don't give gifts on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Okay, I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to complete the rest of the sentences.
Have you finished? Yes. Yes. Okay, I volunteer yes. to read about president today. Me, me. Okay, Am Maria. Americans don't give, give gifts on President Day. Awesome, excellent. Thank you so much, Byron. For April Fool's Day, Americans don't give gifts on. Okay, Americans don't give gifts on April Fool's Day. Day. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Byron. Uh, let's go with Luis. Okay. American don't give gift on her day. Excellent. Ruben? You're mute. Yeah. American give each other gift on Mother's Day. Okay. Very good. Uh, Joanna? Americans give each other gifts on Father's Day. Excellent. Jenny? American don't give each other gift on Independence Day. Excellent. Very good. And the last one, volunteer? Me. Okay. American don't give don't give gifts on Labor Day. Okay, they don't give this on Labor Day. Okay. Labor Day. Oh. Excellent. Good job. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. I have a question. Sure. Uh, for uh, April April Fool Days, it could be that American give each other gifts on that day because it could be a joke, for example. Yes. <laughs> yes, in that case, yes, they they probably give gifts uh -huh, in order to play tricks, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, they, they can probably do that. So that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Any other question or comments? Okay, so I said that new vocabulary here is helpful. So try to practice the new vocabulary. That's important. Okay, collocations. We have some other thing here. Maybe we find new vocabulary here. Who knows? Okay, uh, let's see. Which word or phrase is not usually paired with in each verb? Um, we are supposed to put a line do it if you print a material of course you can go ahead and do it and if not we can just mention the the word that doesn't belong to that group for example a number it, it one we have the verb eat we can of course eat a candy yes eat rice cake but we cannot eat juice so we cannot pair the verb eat with it juice. So uh, we deleted juice. So uh, I'll give you some time for you to read and uh, see which one is the word that we cannot pair with those verbs.
Finish. Visit. Okay, what is the word that we cannot pair in number two? Give, give present and give relatives. No, not usually. Uh huh. Okay, we can give present, we can give candy. Ah, no okay. relatives. El que que give es dar. Y relatives, ¿qué es? Familiares. Parientes. Familiares o parientes. Uh -huh. parientes. So, the one that doesn't belong in number two is relative. That one, no. <laughs> uh, number three? No, the correct. Decorations. Uh -huh. Decoration doesn't it, uh, belong to that. We cannot pay your that. Decorations. Go to a wedding, yes. Go to a party, yes. Uh, what about number four? A beach. A, a beach. Yeah, a beach. that one is the correct a word. Beach. So, um, number five. Uh, money. 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 Yeah, money. money. Yes, that's the correct one. So, number six. A party. A party. A party. A party. A party. A party. Yes. <laughs> Sounds strange. Uh, seven. Food. Food. Uh-huh. Uh, number eight. A birthday. A birthday. Uh-huh. A birthday. And number nine. A celebration. celebration. A celebration. A celebration. Okay, good. Now, questions about this? No. No. It's okay. The vocabulary is quite uh, simple here. Okay, now we're going to watch a video about the relative clauses of time. I'm going to stop sharing this screen and I'm going to share the platform. Let's see. And it's this video. Relative clauses of time. Okay. Bye. Hello. Before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is. So pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when because we want to talk about time. You got that brief explanation there of what's a relative clause of time. So we are going to discuss a little bit about this and we are going to practice more. Uh, so as you saw in the video, a relative clause of time is um, a clause that describes a phrase or a sentence that is previously mentioned. We are going to be practicing with the word when. And we have uh, three examples here. We have the first one. Thanksgiving is a day when we celebrate the harvest. February 14th is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. Okay, so this is the relative close of time. It is um, preceded by another sentence in which we are describing what's going on at that time or at that special day. Okay, so we're going to test our knowledge about these times. Letter A, we're going to read the instructions. How much do you know about these times? Complete the sentences in column A with the information from column B and then practice with a partner.
Okay, ready to share your answers? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, teacher. I'm going to create the groups so you can share your answers and discuss with your classmates. So let me create the breakup rooms. It's gonna be for six breakup rooms. Okay, join the rooms and discuss the answers.
Teacher. Yes. No obtuve respuesta de lo de la finalización del curso. Ya nos están pidiendo documentos para el otro, pero siempre nos Bueno, a mí me parece siempre el 60%. Por ciento. Fíjese que alguien más me comentó lo mismo y, y pues parece ser que eh, ha de haber algo por ahí, pero no es solo a usted que le está sucediendo eso. Eh, a veces es más rápido que ustedes obtengan respuesta, pero eh, voy a preguntar a ver qué me dicen. Pero sí, los papeles, si se los están pidiendo, pues es porque um, es para ya reservarle el cupo para el próximo módulo. Así es que esa es una buena señal. <risa> lo, lo único que piden el 80%, pero ¿y cómo lo vamos? si va a terminar, lo único que aparece es solo en 60. Y ya se lo mandé. A alguien, pero no, no me he contestado todavía. Um, Teacher. Sí. For me, idem. Eh, también ya lo revisé todo desde el inicio y, y lo, lo, lo hice de nuevo y, y, y no cambia. Sí, incluso he hecho tres veces el examen final y, y nada, no me cambia, siempre igual. Entonces ha de ser algo que necesitan que se habilite eh, en la plataforma. A lo mejor es porque no estamos, eh, creo que estaríamos ya casi llegando a la mitad. Entonces a lo mejor es algo que a veces no habilitan todo porque todavía no, no tienen su tiempo. Pero voy a preguntar. Ahí. Sí, sí, porque como lo, los papeles dicen que hay que entregarlos el 29 y ya es el jueves, si no me equivoco. Sí, el jueves es. Bien? Entonces, eh, ustedes entreguen los papeles, aunque no tengan okay. el 80 según la plataforma. Y este escríbanle incansablemente a, a, a Jason. A, <ríe> a Jason le voy a mandar. Ajá. A, sí, escríbanle a, a todos. A Jason, a Jimmy, quien más. A Miguel, Davis. Pero... Son Jason... Davis, eh, Jimmy y no sé quién más está por ahí y como último recurso tal vez a mi Selena eh, hasta que le den respuesta porque como son varios grupos, son varios chats no es que a veces pues se, se, les, se les va y se confunden entre tanto chat y, y ya no contestan Pe eh, Teacher, ¿sí? ¿cuáles papeles? Cada módulo antes de iniciar cada módulo se vuelven a renovar los, los papeles de inscripción y eso, como tarda bastante tiempo, los empiezan a, se, a pedir como con dos semanas o un poquito más de anticipación, porque el papeleo es bien tardado. Pero en mi caso, por ejemplo, que de la empresa, no me los tienen que pedir a mí porque yo no, no, no sé qué papeles son. Uh -huh. eh, creo que es la planilla y esas cosas que mandaron para inscribirse al primer, a este módulo en el que está, pues entonces es la misma persona y si no es usted, entonces eh, tal vez usted tiene que abordar a alguien de recursos humanos, me imagino. Y lo que sucede es que fíjense que le comento, ¿verdad? Yo cuando me inscribí en este módulo, pues a mí me tocó estarles preguntando porque ellos nunca me contestan. Entonces, eh, 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 por ejemplo, del trabajo me preguntan, o sea, supuestamente yo ya estaba inscrita y las clases no habían empezado. Y ahora con lo que menciona el otro compañero, por ejemplo, cuando nos dieron la charla de la plataforma, pues no fue una charla que digamos muy explícita, ¿verdad? Y hoy resulta que la plataforma, no, a mí en mi caso, no avanza el 60%. Y supuestamente un requisito es el 80% y en el trabajo también es eso. Entonces no entiendo cómo, cómo funciona porque a mí... No me dieron una charla y yo tengo que estarles preguntando. Sí, en ese caso quizás sería de ustedes manden los papeles y pregúntenle a, a estos niños. Si no les contestan, entonces llámenles para que no se vayan a quedar este, afuera, ¿verdad? Porque sí, por chat es un poco más difícil porque como les repito, reciben un montón de chat de todos los grupos. Son grupos de casi 30 personas y son un montón, entonces... Por chat casi que mmm, tienen que tener paciencia e insistir bastante. Lo más efectivo es dar una llamadita. Y si alguien obtiene respuesta, pueden ponerlo en el grupo para sí. que todos los que tienen el mismo problema pues ya estén informados. 
Ajá, porque fíjese que en el chat ahora, eh, Miss Elena fue la que puso que es bien enfático lo del 80%, porque ella dice que está recibiendo documentos, pero quiere aclarar y recordar que para lograr la continuidad de la beca es requisito indispensable el 80% de la calificación en la plataforma, pero si nosotros ya concluimos y, y no nos habilita, pues creo que se nos hace más difícil. Sí, entonces que para que eso no se les haya, no les vaya a generar un mayor inconveniente, eh, ahí mismo donde ella puso eso, pueden ustedes también ponerlo en el grupo para que ellos tal vez lo vean, pónganlo en el grupo, mándenlo individual y si alguien tiene chance de llamar, llamen también y, y, y comunican en el grupo. Eso no, no es pecado ni les va a pasar nada por poner okay. algo así en el grupo. Háganlo para que no vayan a tener inconvenientes y puedan inscribirse al siguiente módulo. Uh -huh. Ok, so, vamos a ver qué pasa mañana, que nos contestan y cualquier información que, que obtengan este, nos la hacen saber por el grupo para los demás que están con el mismo problema, ok? Ok. Ok, okay thank you so much okay. and uh, see you tomorrow. See, see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 B